And good day, welcome back to the Zectronics Man vs. Machine Team League. I'm here with Martin Royakas, author of Leaderbot and um, director of this tournament. Martin, welcome. Uh, welcome, uh, everyone. This is the, indeed the Zectronics Man vs. Machine competition. And uh, today we have none other than Killerbot, who is usually at the very top three of the Student Starcraft AI ladder. And uh, Killerbot has al already taken down a C minus level player, but then he got defeated by a C plus level player. So now he is in the lower brackets, and he's now up against Empath Steven, which is a D level player. And the thing about Killerbot is that the ZVZ is its worst matchup. Uh, so we're going to see if he is still good enough to take down. A D D plus level player. Okay. Well, as we can see now, uh, MPA Steven's got th uh, nine drones already, and the same can be said for Killerbot. So um, yeah, both are starting. Oh well, Killerbot is starting a pool, and MPA Steven's appears to be doing the same. Uh, what do you think about the the ZVZ matchup of Killerbot, Martin? Well, it's got a very good um, micro with the Zerklings. Mm -hmm. In general, bots with their high APM, of course, they can have very good mechanics. But in terms of decision making, especially in micromanagement as well, you can see that the bots aren't really great at that. So they've got the good reaction time, but they don't have the decision making to help them out. And that is usually why human players are still capable of defeating bots. It's because of their lack of decision making. Yes. Because for the viewers out there, if you can, uh, if you are watching this in high definition, you can see MPA Steven is now rocking about 60 APM, and Killerbot is with the new calculations is doing about 300. So that's already a big thing. And what is happening? But minerals being mined, and what would you need 300 APM for that? Could you could you clarify that, Martin? Why uh, bots use so much APM for just mining minerals? Yeah, that is because the thing about uh, mining minerals is that if you use the default method, which you see Amber Steven use, mm -hmm. it's not the most optimal. And that is because the pathfinding built into the StarCraft, it's built in the 90s. And back then, they had to save some CPU, so the pathfinding is not optimal. But nowadays, you have much better pathfinding. You have mm -hmm. much more CPU available for calculating better pathfinding. Okay, so, so they're wasting a lot of APM just upgrading the pathfinding. Yeah, you have or to you. constantly uh, move your units around in a better way. Hmm. Because you still have to use the built-in pathfinding, but now instead of sending it directly to a mineral field, you can adjust it slightly. I'm not, not sure what Killerbot exactly does, but um, this is... It's some uh, kind of optimization. Yeah. Okay, we can see now in the middle of the map that MPA Steven is rounding up a couple of Zerglings of Killerbots. And now there are four links advancing upon the main base, and I think six more are leaving from uh, the hatchery, have just been hatched. Speed is researching for MPA Steven and plus one weapons as well. Meanwhile, Killerbot is going for another hatchery and has built a defensive sunken. And now I think, as we say, it's all down to the micro. Killerbot is oh no killerbot is advancing now and mpa steven is the the orange pardon me and i do wonder why no i think that mpa steven is safe with the sunken and killerbot is losing a couple of zerglings for no good reason really the sunken doing so much damage from the rear and killerbot going for the upgrades and another hatchery of course, MPA Steven's got another hatchery as well, but I think if Killerbot can manage to squeeze out another couple of drones, it will be in a vastly better position. Uh, yeah, there's a, one thing a little bit weird about Killerbot's build, which is why I've said that the ZVZ is not the best matchup, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's it built an evolution chamber relatively early, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit too much. It's probably to counter the other Zerg bots out there, especially the four pool bots. Okay. But against human players, it's not exactly the most optimal build. No. But uh, one good thing about Killerbot, though, is that because of this build, he did manage to contain Empath Steven. Mm -hmm. So now Empath Steven will have to uh, 
basically try to get up to mutalisks because yes. with mutalisks he can take down all these servings. Okay, and as you can see, MPA Steven is going for more sunken, so wasting drones and wasting income. And Killerbot losing a lot of, of zerglings in the in the process. That's not really good. MPA Steven now going for gas. Killerbot has got a an extractor as well, but only mine exactly 200 gas for the upgrades of plus one weapons and speed. Look at that, that's a lot of... <laughs> a lot of zerglings wasted on this, this this sunken colony. Why does that happen, Martin? Do you... Could you tell me and perhaps the audience as well why is Killerbot running into that sunken? Because it can obviously see that it's there. Why is it doing that? Probably I'll, I'll take the vision of uh, everyone but uh, Killerbot, I'll mm -hmm. check, because what I think is happening, yeah, uh, it thinks it can engage based on the one sunken there, mm -hmm. but... It forgets the rest. Yeah. It Basically doesn't have I any uh, any object permanence, it, it forgets the, the other zerglings and the other sunken. Uh, what I think it is, is that um, each zergling checks what's in its range and the moment it moves into the sunken range it sees that there's a lot more than it expected okay and because of that it keeps running back and forth okay now killerbot going full out zerglings of three hatcheries one drone mining minerals at the natural no gas being mined and oh there it goes it goes in now but it kills a lot of zerglings and it damages um, a sunken colony superficially but no big damage done. But as you can see, MPA Stephen is is swatting down Zerglings left and right, building more creep colonies though, because I think he knows he's contained, and he can't really see what's out there, how many bases Killerbot's got at the moment. Uh, yeah, he's also building uh, spore colonies because he thinks that uh, well, what usually happens in Zerg vs Zerg is after you've got the Zergling advantage, you then also go for. Mutalisks, that's the usual follow up after you cut your initial zerglings out. Okay. But uh, Killerbot, the build order, it's specifically built against bots, I guess. And because of that, it's not transitioning into Mutalisks. So, yeah, because of that, M. Steven's strategy will actually work. But uh, M. Steven doesn't know that, and he's still got some spore colonies. So, basically, what. Uh, Killerbot has to do right now is he has to transition into mutalisks yes. and keep Empath Steven compa contained and you know get get more hatcheries, more bases, mm -hmm. and just keep on containing him until he's got enough units to just overwhelm Empath yes. Steven. Or trade he's a bit because he's now losing so many zerglings and getting nothing done. Uh, yeah. So basically. Killerbot, yeah, this is why I said that uh, Killerbot ZVZ is not that great. That's because, uh, you know, his decision oh, making. A couple of oh, Zerglings yeah. run in, but they only do about 35 damage to the, the first sunken, <laughs> and then it's uh, then it's all gone. But that's a pity. Yeah, well, basically, uh, the thing is that he is already a bit scouting a little bit for other hidden expansions from yep. Empath Steven. So he's got a contain strategy, that that's alright, but he doesn't have to, the, the killer bot doesn't have the decision making to transition into mutalisks, and also in terms of when to bust these sunkens, yeah. like the calculation for that, mm -hmm. that also doesn't appear to be correct. Okay, now going for even more sunken colonies, that's absurd. We've got a <laughs> Evo Chamber, Hydra Den, no lair, and a lot of. Oh, and almost half hit points down on a sunken colony. And there comes the lair and another sunken colony. Do you think that Killerbot will claim more bases or will it just continue to uh, try and build zerglings like it's doing oh. now? From what I've get it, I, I, I've, seen, I've seen this replay before, of course. So basically, this strategy, it's. Specifically designed versus bots, mm -hmm. and yeah, basically it's going to try to keep on the contain because it, Killerbot knows, at least Arthur knows, that the other Zerg bots simply aren't really capable of breaking that contain. Mm. 
and but human players like even a deep plus level and plus even mm -hmm. he, even he knows how to defend uh, a zergling contain if that's the only thing you can get yes so. could have built one lurker or something but <laughs> that would have done the trick just as well <laughs> because we have got one two oh we can see that can't we we've got six sunkens and four spore colonies and tr two creep colonies as well so that's a lot of drones lost and oh, we can't really be sure what's out there can he Killing what yeah. keeps scouting but doesn't expand. Yeah, basically, and Positive, he prepared for everything basically. He's got a lot of spore colonies in case Killabot does go for a meter transition. Mm -hmm. And he now has also a Hydralisk then. And he's up upgrading to Lurkers. Oh, yes, it does. And so, yeah, with that, he will be able to eventually break the container of Killabot. Yes, it looks like it. <laughs> this is insane. And Killerbot just keeps on pumping up the Zerglings. And now some Zerglings, they... The Zerglings retire, they retreat to the natural. Will it now build some drones and try something else? Or will it gather up more Zerglings and try for one big push? What do you think? Yeah, from what I've seen from Killerbot, it's, it's not really updated on the ladder anymore. So it's probably still the same. Uh, basically, it yeah, tries to overwhelm the opponent with a lot of Zerglings. And that's the only thing really that it's doing in CVZ. It's not like in its um, CVP, where you saw uh, several weeks ago, where it can build hydrolisks and micro them around, scout around all over the place. Okay, here comes the push, but there are too many sunkens and a lot of links die in the process. That's not, not so good. And here comes the first lurker. Uh, and I think that one lurker can probably deal with all these zerglings, as there are no longer any overlords with the uh, with the, the killerbot army. No. Um, well, they can catch the lurker by surprise. If the lurker unborrows and the zerglings rush in, they can get enough shots off to make it die before it borrows again. But that requires some uh, good decision making as well, which. Killerbot doesn't really have in CVZ. No, no, no. <laughs> and did you see uh, MPA Steven almost walled itself in? I do wonder if that Lurker can make it out there, or if it's too big to pass between the uh, the extractor and the, the spore colony. That would be, uh, be silly. Oh, lord, and now the Lurker's getting some hits in as well. That, that's not looking good for Killerbot at all. Not good uh, at all. No. It's, um Basically, yeah, like like I said several times before. Yeah. Basically, Killerbot, the ZVZ. It's, it's not transitioning. Yeah, yeah, it's not transitioning because it's mainly focused on bots for the bots. Yeah. Unlike its uh, ZVP, where it can do some hydraulisk micro, mm -hmm. which you've seen several weeks before. Uh, um, perhaps for the the CIG tournament, Marianne Diveka, the uh, the author of Killerbot, will do an update, and perhaps his ZVZ is something he could work on. Yeah, I've already contacted, contacted him, and he has no plans at the moment to uh, update his CVZ. That's so basically, yeah, but you see is what you're going to get in the CIG tournament in CVZ as well. Mm. I'm not sure about this ZVP or ZVT, but CVZ he is going to keep on using this strategy because it works very well for his bots. Yes. And MPA Steven is trying to win this by just sheer defending it seems because he's not moving out no lurker is attacking no hydras he's just sitting back behind a huge wall of sunkens and spores <laughs> killing lots of zerglings oh and killerbot now leaves the game so uh, that's the gg mpa steven wins